I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Oh, you recognize it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Same shirt, like the Loop app and everything. So it's good to chat with you. Thank you so much for and Top Rope for doing this. And um, so I got I, I got at least a question or two, but yeah. I was I was this close of seeing you wrestle in person. This oh, was nice. uh, uh, at the Shimmer Show at Indianapolis. Oh, and then I ended uh, up not coming. Yeah. Oh, so, I'm so sorry. No, I, I read your tweet, your exclamation about it. It's all good. We're in yeah. a pandemic, and you have okay. to prepare for Bound for Glory, which was a couple yeah. weeks after that. So hopefully our, our paths will cross in 2021 for sure. I hope uh, so. And I'm looking forward to final resolution tomorrow night. You, Rosemary, that's going to be uh, an exciting match. Um, different backgrounds and everything. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to that. So Impact Wrestling has had an incredible year. And yeah. uh, Knockouts Division in particular. Um, with you, we're from Nevea, and um, the new additions that's been added to the division. So obviously you and Kimber were in the tournament, fell short, but I definitely see you and Kimber Lee becoming champions down the road, at least at the whole so. Game. so I uh, hope so. So as far as, you know, the remaining teams, who do you think should be the, uh, the new champions at Hard to Kill as far as the remaining teams? Oh, uh, my pick is Tasha Steeles and Kiera Hogan, hands down. Um, I obviously have known Tasha since the beginning, so um, to see her do well, like, warms my heart. It means everything to me. Um, but they've been at the tag in the, in the division for the longest, so I think that, um, you know, they're kind of the most deserving right now, and, and they bring the most fun and, and something unique to, to our division. So um, that's who I personally would love to see win. Um, the tag tournament at Hard to Kill. I'm with you. I love Tasha and I love Kiera. I actually met Kiera at a at an Impact show before the pandemic oh, in Lexington, okay. Kentucky, mm -hmm. and I almost didn't recognize her because she used to have red hair. Oh and yeah. She had the black hair, and now <laughs> she got the blue hair. Right. Um, regardless, she is the hottest flame, and I'm happy for her and Tasha. And uh, I'm rooting for them um, to to pull through and, and win this. So um, as far as, you know, going into 2021, obviously you're the champion right now. Mm -hmm. um, you face Jordan. You face um, Sue Young and Susie. You're about to face Rosemary. Yeah. Um, who else does Deonna Perrazzo in that knockout division you see yourself going up against? Oh, you know, um, again, I'd love to wrestle Tasha just because, you know, that's like kind of full circle for both of us. Um, but there's so many first time matches and mm -hmm. people have never gotten to wrestle in singles competition. So, you know, Havoc and Nevaeh individually for sure are on that list. Um, Taya Valkyrie is on that list. Um, I, I haven't wrestled to Neil Dashwood in quite a few years. So to Neil... Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, and then, yeah, Rosemary was a first time matchup in the tag title tournament. And then, you know, this, this match at heart, um, at final resolution tomorrow is, you know, the first time we've ever been in singles competition. So I'm really excited for everyone to see um, me retain my knockout championship, but I just think our division is so stacked. There's so many um, unique individual women, like head to toe, top to bottom. There's just, incredible talent in our division and uh, I look forward to um, breaking all of their arms. 10 seconds, Kenny. Well, it was great chatting with you, Diona. Thank you so yeah, much for the time. So much. Good luck in your title match tomorrow and I'll be watching. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.